why should we choose jobs that we like mood diary day 98 today and i have chosen this because sometimes when i get inspired ideas i just make a note and then i have like plenty of those and i end up never talking about it so it's something that i wanted to talk about because i'm actually very passionate about it ever since i was little i was dreaming about corporate career <laughs> and once i get in a corporate career after you know like universities and things like that i really thought this is kind of like not game over but kind of like a dream achieved right because of all of all of the imagining kind of like feeling of how you are you're important you working you know office you know like for somebody from the background like mine um growing up in a kind of like a self-sufficient household it didn't feel like a luxury at that time it actually felt like i'm a poor person uh it felt like my lifestyle and you know also the family was kind of like not doing very well i felt like i was deprived from goodness in life and you know from probably status and I thought that I would be so happy the day when I no longer need to go and work in the fields on my holiday on a day when I don't really need to go and give water to the animals you know like so that's that's a whole long 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 story but my point is that you know when you think you're gonna do something because somebody told you that if you do that you're gonna be happy and then you do it and then you're not happy just the job title doesn't really make you happy just the fact that you receiving money doesn't make you happy just the fact that your company is good or better in comparison with other companies doesn't make you happy then you know that there is something wrong again woo, for fast forward summary so I, I kind of want to say my experience now. So after doing something which was okay, but you know, like never really light up my passion and made me feel like really kind of dedicated and passionate for the cause, for the reason, for what I'm doing on a daily basis, even though some people that I was working with are absolutely brilliant people and you know like there is nothing that I can say about you know like one of my best friends is from there but there is nothing like doing what you love there is really nothing like what you doing you know when you're doing what you love right now when I started to invest my focus and energy and time in emotional well-being practicing teaching practicing on myself sharing that you know like the amount of energy that i have every day and the, the amount of like a satisfaction the level of satisfaction that i feel is completely different it is completely different to what i felt when i was doing only the job that gives me money so my point is this in order to be happy and to have a happy life we have to do what we love on a daily basis because if we're not going to do it our life is going to be miserable because it's not the end result that makes us happy what makes us happy our daily experience the mundane daily experience mundane not in the sense that it is boring and horrible but in the sense that we're doing it every day over and over and over and over and over again and guess what over and over and over again we love what we do and when we over and over and over love what we do and we are just more passionate about it like things like depression dissatisfaction sense of emptiness go 
So that's why I wanted to talk about doing what you love and why it's important to do it. And I wanted to encourage every one of you, like everybody who can see this, if there is something that you are doing and at the moment and you don't love it and there is something else that you love, start doing at least some of that thing that you love. I don't expect everybody to be, you know, like so reckless or confident or positive or capable of jumping from, okay, I'm just gonna say quit my job and just gonna do plainly what I love and that's it. I mean, probably wonderful if somebody can do that, but I, you know, I can't do that. So that I don't also urge other people to do that. But what I urge people to do is increase amount of time every day and to do the things that you love. Not just eating, not just sleeping, not just kind of reading a book, even though those are the good things to do. If you don't know exactly what you love, but if there is some hobby, if there is something that gives you joy, doesn't matter, filing your nails, manicures, doing makeups, uh, composing flowers, uh, I don't know, like looking at the recipes, making cakes, do that. I think everybody deserves to do in life what they love. And I think if every single person in life would do what they love, we would have like, imagine like every single specialist and the person that we come in, they're so passionate about what they do. Imagine that, you know, like you go to a doctor and he's compassionate, he's passionate, he or she, you know, they love their job. Um, imagine if we go to bakery and people who do the baking things and the cakes, they just absolutely are fans of their job, you know? So, yeah, I actually feel like this is this is very important, especially right now, you know, with limited things that we can do outdoors still or outside of our home to do something that we can, that we love indoors or at home in our area. Outdoors, it doesn't matter, but, you know, like, just to kind of swing this all focus and energy and the world and the mass and the consciousness and focus, mainly focus on concentrating and doing the things that we are passionate about because that's how we're going to change things. So my mood right now is 9 out of 10. I feel actually quite empowered. I feel passionate. I feel alive. I'm not hangry. <laughs> I think I had enough sleep decision that I did yesterday. Well, I decided not going to do much. I only had one meeting, one hour. And the rest of the time I spent resting, really. I feel actually good. I feel like I managed to do things in a quite balanced way, in the most positive and harmonious sense of that. Ah, yeah, and I did some henna coloring a couple of days ago, and this is a very nice, bright color. I like that. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, and I hope that you will find courage, inspiration, and motivation to do something that you love, and at least little by little, slowly, by slowly, slowly, step by step, you'll be able to immerse yourself in doing what you love and kind of like replace what you don't love with the things that you love and that to become your life. I'm very kind of like inspired and passionate today. Thank you for listening. See you tomorrow. Bye.